Hey everyone, Patty here. Welcome to my channel. My first guest is Derek. Before I even get started, I am going to highly recommend you check out his channels. He has two channels and I will put the links in the description. Fundamentals of Side Hustling and Lion's Curb Refresh or Lion's Curbs Refresh. How is that, Derek? It's Lion's Curb. You had it right. Lion's Curb Lions, Refresh. Lion's Curb Refresh. And he also does a hump day hangout. You want to turn your notifications on for Wednesday nights. He's with Regina Michelle and they do a hump day hangout and it's really fun, laid back. And it's, it's just, you just want to be there. Can I introduce yourself, Derek? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you, it's pretty much what she said. My name is Derek. I have two channels, I have fundamentals. Uh, you can, you type in fundamentals on, on any platform and should come up and that's, You'll see the spelling in it, in her description. And then you have Lion Scarborough Fresh. And that channel is about our business, me and my son's business, uh, where we do we do pressure washing, curb painting, address ad uh, painting. Just watch the growth uh, as we just start it from the side and, and grow it uh, to eventually be a main stream of, of income uh, where something I can pass off down to him as he gets older or, you know, we can we can kind of pass it off down the line if it's something he doesn't want to do right now it's fun and uh we just document our our kind of our story on there yeah I'm, uh, I'm a full-time reseller i am a full-time entrepreneur i do i do a little bit of everything and like i said we have our show on wednesday called hump day hangout that we do myself and my sister regina michelle and we've been doing it for uh Two and a half years now. We have not missed one Wednesday since, <laughs> since that day. And uh, it's something we always look forward to. It's a great, great place to just come hang out. Yeah. And you, you's been I, like, you've been doing that. Like how many, how many videos do you have up there now? Do you know? It's, or how uh, many people, how many guests did you have on, I guess? Uh, how many guests? I don't. I, so we've done a total of, a, <coughs> I think it's 132 shows now. Oh my gosh. So... I'm wow. thinking we we may have had about eighty to ninety different guests. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's insane. All right, so I'm going to ask you a couple questions. So, uh, how did you get started into reselling? Like, how did you get started? How long have you been reselling? I've been reselling since 2000, and is it? 2007 yeah 2007 2008 somewhere around there wow yeah and i got into it because i used to buy a lot of shoes from ebay i, I used to buy a lot of adidas i'm an adidas fanatic oh wow and uh i used to buy a lot of a lot of shoes and it got to a point i got too many i couldn't fit any <laughs> anymore in my little we had a little tiny apartment at that time myself and my wife yeah, and I'm taking up a huge portion of the closet, and you know, uh, if you know, ladies, ladies have a lot of stuff, and she wasn't, <laughs> she wasn't having no part of that. So she's like, "Look, we gotta, we gotta, you gotta get rid of some stuff, man." So I listed a pair of shoes on eBay. Since I buy from there, I, I signed up to to sell, and I sold them probably way too cheap. I sold them within a day. <laughs> wow, you no, know, that's cheap. That ain't. Yeah, yeah, I knew, I, I knew I missed the price on that, but. The adrenaline from that day on, I was like, shoot, I can sell on here. So ever since then, I've just been just doing it and kind of grew it. Yeah, I was going to ask you what was your first. So they were the, I was going to ask you what was your first item you sold. Was it then sneakers? Yeah, they they were some, <coughs> I remember them. They were some classic Adidas, Reebok, I mean, Adidas classic shell toes. Is it they Adidas were, or, a, or am, I, am I pronouncing it right, wrong? Or Adidas, Adidas, you said, right? Yeah, Adidas. Yeah, people. Yeah, Adidas. Know. Okay. Yeah, they were a nice pair of shell toes, um, and they were the Rastafarians, so they were the uh, yellow, red, and green stripes. And I sold them for way too cheap. I know I did. Wow, what did you sell them for anyway? I sold them for thirty-two bucks. Now at that time, that was on the higher end. I thought after I didn't know anything about researching. And I didn't. I was like, yo, I'm just going to sell them. I think they're worth $32. But looking back on it, I looked up, you know, once I really got into it, I was like, let me look up these shoes when I first sold them. See how much they're worth? No, I should have sold them things for almost $300. Yeah, 
Yeah, I used to never look up stuff. Like, back in the, like, I never looked anything up. Like, it was just, I just didn't do it, you know what I mean? You just go buy what you're going to go and you just get a good uh, use to what you're going to, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You, you more so looked at it. Okay, I paid $3 for it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'll sell it for 15 Yo, this sounds good. <laughs> yeah. And last night on this, uh, last night on, um, on Hangout, you don't even sell shoes any, you don't sell shoes at all. Nah, nah. Unless I get random, I get a lot of lots of stuff. I have a homie who hits me up and he, if he, he buys a lot of storage units and he only sells like clothing. So if he comes across some, some toys or some new shoes or anything like that, he'll hit me up and he'll sell it all to me in a lot. So that's really the only time I sell clothing if I get it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Cause it's it, it, like when you buy, you know what I mean? You just like what you have to watch what you're buying because you know, especially if you don't have the space, you know what I mean? Yeah. But and there's they like I'll pick them up if I see a good pair at a good price. And I uh, if I look them up and I think they're going to sell or they may sell sometime, I'll get them and clean them up and stuff. But I don't I don't actively go looking for them. And I don't have enough knowledge in like shoes anyway, like the, the sneakers and stuff I'll look at. But like late women's shoes and women's clothes, I wish I did, but I don't. You know what I mean? I have my own like kind of look and I'm not into all that kind of fashion, like, you know, like. The brain that's the, that's designer the wild thing stuff. Clothes, but, uh, right? The wild thing about clothes, Patty, is is they're everywhere. And and anytime you want to get into clothes, it's not like it's gonna be not enough inventory. That's right. Clothes are everywhere. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. So what would Derek, what would you now? This one you might have maybe you don't have to think a little bit, maybe a little bit you will. Um for any anybody that's a new beginner starting this and this is for this is for specifically ebay okay because ebay has the limits when they start out remember yes. what would and i think it's i think it's 10 they can list 10 items i'm not sure i didn't look it up today but i think if i remember but what would you what would you recommend they do when they're oh, when they have those limits on their account because I think they have them for a while. I don't know how I don't remember how long, but like what would you recommend in addition to them selling on other platforms? Like you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, like I think to start, everyone always says, which is true, you should always start with, with stuff you have already. But on top of that, the first few things you should list after, after you research it, of course, is stuff that sells fast and you should sell it cheap, right? It, it, the reason why is you want to get those limits off of you as fast as possible. So if you have something, a pair of shoes, okay, everyone has shoes and clothes around the house. Clo FYI, clothing takes a while to sell. Just, right. Just know that. But if you got a nice pair of something and you see that it sells quite often and it sells for $30, Go in there and list it for fifteen dollars. Reason why? Mm -hmm. Sell it. You want to get those limits off of you. Sell the stuff cheap at first. Get those limits. It doesn't hurt your store. It just it builds your your sales up. That way, it can take that cap off, and now you can sell twenty five, and then now you can sell a hundred, and you get the you get those transactions flowing through your account. And eBay is like, okay, they they know what they're doing. Unlimited, yeah. I'm wondering. Um, I forget how. Do you remember how long they have those? Because I, I, I don't oh, know if that's. <laughs> they have to sell the ten, and if you don't, that's fine. I mean. Yeah, I, I don't remember. You know, it's been so long. I uh, know it has been long. I, I should have looked it up before I got on, but I didn't. Yeah, I, I think you, you, that you have to sell a certain amount. You that's, have to that's a certain level before they release a cap on you and and give you another level. So I do know that my, I, I got my sister in law to to start selling on ebay last year and i remember her saying that like her first 10 i think it's 10 uh and then they gave her more opportunities to list more items and then just, just kind of went from there yeah and i think they can i think you because i know i've done it uh you can request for them to increase your limits and it doesn't hurt to try even if they're new it doesn't hurt to try and they can even ask the the representative you know well when can i you know what I mean? They'll kind of give you an I them an idea. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, all right. So you, no way. So are you more into doing hard goods then? Yeah, I'm a hard, I'm a hard good. Uh, main category is toys. 
Adventures Toys, huge in, into toys. Yeah. And then, of course, the home, home goods and any other random hard good that I can find. But my, my main thing is toys. I actively seek toys. Yeah. I remember now, I, this was a while ago, Derek, maybe last year sometime. I, I think it was, you got, um, were they planes or something? But you got a bunch of them. Were they new? How did yeah. you do with them? Did they sell or are they still sitting or what? Like oh, how they, they're still selling. Yeah, I'm still eating. Out, you know, yeah. I say we still. I'm still eating off that that buy. Are you really? Because you had yeah. you got a lot of them. I'm thinking, wow. Yeah, I got a lot. It, it was one of the one of the best deals I've ever found. Um, yeah. Out, out, outsourcing. It was it was pure luck and how I found it. There was no skill to it. It was just it's mainly pure luck. It was, yes. I just asked. I saw a posting and I saw the person had multiple postings. And so wow. I asked, and I was like, how many do you have of, of these? And then they was like, if you want to come by, we have a lot. And I went by and I looked and I, I didn't leave without leaving with every last one of them. I just gave them an offer. <laughs> <laughs> I know how that is. I know. It's good though. Like when you make those connections, they keep, they, you know, especially if they're kind of close you know yeah. wow so you got a lot then yeah i got it was the planes and and model cars yeah I it was got, something good yeah it was i want to say it was about 600 models oh they my were gosh all, they were all vintage what did he if you don't mind me asking what did he charge you for them i paid 1800 dollars for them now oh that's that's the, that's the thing about about reselling right you're not going to be able to do that in the beginning that, oh, no. that's, that that takes time and on top of that you have to have the liquid funds to, to be able to do that uh, and, and i'm not and the rich. knowledge and the knowledge i'm not like, rich at no point at all i'm not rich at all i cast out my credit cards to get that stuff because i knew that i was going to get my money back within two months oh yeah yeah and and it came it came back like maybe maybe man you know people you people have goals when you go into you want to two times or three times your money and stuff like that i think i six times my money seven times my money in in that deal it was, it was yeah insane. i bet yeah because i'm thinking oh my god look at all that stuff you know remember that no i don't remember his name oh oh he, he had those funny videos he doesn't post too much but you don't know who I'm talking about. Hmm. He does those funny video. He he doesn't post too much. What's his name? He does them in his yard. Hmm. Oh yeah, you do. You're subscribed to him. Uh I am too. I forget his name, but he he got oh my god. I wonder how he how he done with those shirts. He got a whole bunch of old vintage concert shirts, and I remember like so many of them. Oh Matt, like, Matt, huh? Matt. Matt, yeah, yeah I'm thinking, oh my yeah. God, is he? Oh, yeah, I wonder Matt, how he's done with them. He did good. He actually did good. I asked, I asked him, and he, he actually did really, really good. And yeah, Matt, I think he so, starts posting again. You know, he had some. He, his videos were like, you know, hilarious. they kept you watching. Matt, Matt's hilarious, and the thing is, he's a teacher. So is that what he is? Yeah. Yeah, he loves. He loves his job. He loves his kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think just like a lot of us, we get burnt out. You know. Get burnt out. <laughs> yeah. So what are you doing at your other the job that because I know you went you went back or something to work or something, but what do you do there then, Derek? Yeah, so my side gig, uh not I, your side gig, not the one well, not the one with you and your son. We'll talk about that, but yeah. The one so at, at night, right? At night, yeah. I'm a I'm a I'm a armed, I'm not I'm an armed guard. Oh. Yeah. At night. Do you, right. what so you work night shift then? Yeah, I work night shifts. It works better for everything else that I'm doing. It doesn't kind of interfere. Yeah. So that that's the only reason why I went back. And I did it just more so for a consistent, you know, with we're reselling, you can make now I'm pretty transparent. Um, you know, last two, three years, I it was like 125,000, 130, wow. uh, yeah, 115. And then after taxes, it was about 70. Yeah, know, seventy thousand with which the fees cool and everything. Yeah, but I live in California, okay, and uh, we have a house, we have a mortgage. You know, we have a bunch of things. My wife has a good job too, 
I heard it's expensive there. Like it, it is too, it's too, it's extremely too expensive, way too expensive. But you know, I love it because of all the inclusiveness out here. But you know, we, I have a goal to live at a certain level and, yeah. and not have to worry about things. So for me to maintain that level, I had to do what was right for me and my family. I had to get something, a steady stream right. of income that didn't really bother me too much as far as what I'm doing already. So yeah, you know, that that's a steady paycheck that comes in, pays pretty good. And yeah. I'm still able to do everything else. Yeah, I know. I um I I did something really I mean I don't recommend people doing it, but I did nursing at LPN for like like 18 years at the time and paid my as soon my as soon as my truck got paid off, I uh I thought, you know what, I'm just doing this eBay because I was doing eBay at the same time, you know, and I'm thinking I had these big bright ideas. Oh, I can make it. I was making good money. I did agency nursing. So I was getting like between 20 and this was probably I'm out of it now. I don't even know. Maybe 10 years. I don't know. Maybe five years or maybe between five and 10 years. I don't know because I'm not thinking. But um, I at the time I was making between 28, 30 dollars an hour. Now, that might not be great, but. Yeah, it, back then it was good money you know what i mean and it was you know but uh i thought you know i could do when i'm, I'm getting these sales oh i could do this at home i could i could just list all this stuff and make all this money wow i do not make what i was making a week i mean i i'm trying to get there you know yeah. but I'm, it's just it's not it's it's what you make of it and what you know what I mean? I do this full time. I mean, I, I do something else, right? I, you know, on the side, also part time, but it's not as easy as, you know, you get these big, bright ideas when you see this money coming in. Um, then my husband would thank God I, I had my husband, you know, and it was both of our incomes, but I don't recommend just going at it like just especially if you're by yourself. If you have a partner or something, yeah, but if you're going to do yeah. it on your own, it's hard. Yeah, it is hard because you're you're relying on that person to, you know, you have to have on some of the items that we list. We have to have specific people. Yes. At a specific time that is interested in that item, especially if it's something that's odd or something that may sit a couple years, you know, or a couple months, and you know. But all right. Uh. So let's see. So you also. You do, uh, I think you do. I don't, I don't remember, Derek, but I know you do source and you go to thrift stores and stuff, but I vaguely remember you saying you hated the thrift stores. So yeah. you do a lot of RA, which is retail arbitrage. Is that correct? Yeah. So can you tell, can you tell anybody that's a new beginner what that is? Yeah. So I don't like Goodwills. I think Goodwills are, are a form of the devil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 that's just me personally. I don't like, yeah. I like a little bit of, of structure to places that I go. Cause that's just how my mind operates. So I go to selected thrift stores that are a lot cleaner uh, instead of Goodwills. And don't you think that they're, don't you, th I don't mean to cut you off, but I like, and it, this is just me though. I like the junk, the, the junkier places. That, Cause I don't think that they really care what they have. That's yeah. the way I look at it now. Not necessarily like, Goodwills and stuff, but I'm thinking like some of them, like mom, some of the places that ain't as straightened up, they're not as priced as high and they don't really, they don't really care if the stuff's like, they just want to get rid of it. It looks like, you know yeah, what I mean? The smaller not mom, necessarily. Bill, no, but. you're right. You're absolutely right. The smaller mom and pops, not the, so Goodwill, I think the people don't give a damn about the stuff. They, they throw it broken. They put broken stuff. Like Goodwill doesn't care. I, I, I yeah. personally think Goodwill is one of the worst run company uh donation type places i've ever seen in my life all the mom and pops are there and the reason why some of their stores are messy because it's just them them and their husband right and they're, right. they're running it they just putting the stuff out they got their cousins out there putting the stuff out and pricing it they don't care so you're right. gonna find a lot of a lot better deals at places like that and you'll be surprised at how many thrift stores and goodwills are in your neighborhood like google it You'll be surprised oh, yeah. how many you find. You'd be like, Yo, I go huh? all over Pennsylvania. Oh, I go I like, yeah. yeah, yeah, and and so I I go to specific thrift stores that are a little bit more organized, and I do a lot of online arbitrage. There's a a lot of auctions online. I've done auctions online before it even got hot. 
I've been doing yeah. that for a very long time. I've been very, very successful at it because I, yeah, I'm I'm very specific as to what I look for. So now, do you do high bid? Uh, there's a couple of places on high bid that I do. Uh, I'm not like deep into it. I just right. recently started doing high bid. Uh, I do a lot of local online auction places around here in California. Yeah, I have to start doing that. I mean, I did I did high bid a couple times, but some of their shipping is like outrageous. Insane. You know, but they do have some around here like that. I could go like and I just forget about it sometimes. So, yeah, you know what I mean? Of course. There's so many there's so many options. And then people sleep on the state sales and I get it. Some of them are expensive, but if you go on those last couple, you don't really don't care about like mainstream stuff. You go in those last days. You can go in. You can walk out of there with a bunch of good stuff. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's 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 controlled, and that's the good thing about estate sales. It's controlled. You're not going to get too much chaos in there. Uh, things are generally laid out for you, and you can just go through and just have at it. It's it's a good time. Yeah. Do you like um? So you'd rather the retail arbitrage, like you'd rather do the going to the store, buying on the clearance section or, or, or how do you, what your retail arbitrage, do you want to just explain that? Like for, for beginners, what that is? Yeah. So retail arbitrage is, is simply going into a big box store and shopping their shelves. You know, you know, I do toys. So I go in and I go straight to the toy section. And if it's something that interests me that I know about, I pick it up and I scan the barcode and see what it's selling for. And then you know, whatever they have it listed for it and to figure out your profit margin. And right. that's, that's the key thing is your profit margin. I'm not going to go in and pick something up and only make $2 from it. I'm wasting my time at that point. Yeah. Um, it, Considering you know, yeah, with gas, it like just yes. it's not even worth it. Now, do you use a scanner, eBay scanner? Do you bar? Do you use that, or do you have a? No, no, no. Yeah, I do straight, straight eBay because that's that's the platform I sell on. Uh, right. So I, so I scan it with the eBay barcode scanner, and if it doesn't come up, I type it in, and then kind of kind of go from there. Yeah. So you don't do Amazon with that because I know a lot of people do arbitrage. They do the arbitra arbitrage with Amazon. You know what I mean? A lot of that stuff. I have a love hate relationship with Amazon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, know I know that I know. I ha I was selling books on there for maybe two years. I haven't listed anything. You know, I, I I don't sell on there right now, but I know it's like Yeah, they they uh although you can move a lot of volume with Amazon, uh, don't don't get it twisted. Don't let people uh, cloud cloud your mind on that. You do your research because Amazon takes a lot of money from you. And, oh yeah, and it's constantly changing. So that's one place I would say you would never. I would much rather put all my eggs in the, in eBay basket than an Amazon basket because Amazon changes daily, and you yeah. can, you can have one thousand items listed on Amazon today and wake up tomorrow and they deactivated your account. Yeah, you never know. I um see no, let's see. Uh I'm here looking at my list of questions. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you have the the how did you and Regina meet? You have the hump day hangout on Wednesday night. Again, yeah. please turn the notifications on. It's a fun time, but uh and it lasts like about an hour, an hour and a half sometimes, depending on what the subject, whatever you know, goes on. Uh but now, how it, how did you meet like how did you meet Regina? How did you just hook up? Like, was it on on YouTube or how was that? Yeah, me, me and Regina, we used to hang out, and and I'm sure you remember this. You remember Marcus Sumo? Oh yeah, but Marcus sent that Lorena. girl from Texas. I forget her name. Yeah, Lorena. Yeah, Lorena. Yeah. yeah. So we used to hang out in there. In it, I used to be in there too. Yeah, so it was a late night show, and they that used was to come a fun home. show. I, hope, yeah. I I wonder how they're doing. Marcus, I haven't, you know, I, I, I tried to, Marcus changed his, his Instagram and me and Marcus used to talk every single week. And then I, to be 100% honest with you, I haven't talked to Marcus in about three months and I'm concerned because normally we talk. Yeah. So, he was on, I know he was doing, um, what, a weight loss thing. I yeah. think. Yeah. And I, I need to, I need to find a way to get a hold of him because I haven't been able to get a hold of him. I need to find a way. But yeah, he was. Uh, I came across his, his channel the other day and it was old. I'm thinking, oh, I wonder what happened to him and Lorena. Lorena, because Lorena got out of it, I think yeah. something to do with work, maybe, or, or something. I don't remember. 
Yeah. But they, Lorena, that was a fun I, show. It was. So we, we used to hang out in there and yeah. I liked it. I liked it. I liked the feel of the show. I liked the I liked the male female vibe of it. And they, they were talked too, about toys a lot too, like different. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And they were polar opposites. They were two polar opposite people, but they came together and it worked well. And so me, me and Regina met through the chat. I used yeah. to watch her videos. She watched my videos and commented. And I just reached out to her on a random, just a random day. I was like, yo, I want to do a show, Regina. She's like, yeah, that's cool. I was like, would you be interested in doing it with me? She's like, yeah, just keep me posted. And yeah. she thought I was joking. Because she didn't really, she didn't really know my personality at that point. You used to make me laugh sometimes. Oh my, because I could, I could read Regina's mind when her head goes, especially when her head goes down. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then you, you'll say something, and the next thing you know, <laughs> gosh, who knows what she's gonna say to you? Oh my God, it's funny that's what that, you're gonna say, and oh, uh, that's Regina. <laughs> that's what you and I think like last night with that what was it that I, oh my god I was gonna I burst out laughing with yeah. that shirt I was in the, I was eating a subway sub at the time <laughs> she said that shit. <laughs> anyway that was funny that, and that's a back and forth that's a great thing about her man we we have such a great relationship uh that we feed we kind of feed off each other and I, I yeah. know I know how to press her buttons. She knows how to press my buttons, and it just it it just works. It works very well. And you know, we we did our first show. Use use one of the first guests. Yeah. On our show. Use it within the first first seven or something like that. Yeah, I, I was, yeah. That. I was. I I don't remember how many it was, but I remember I it was wait it was one yeah, <laughs> probably two it, years ago. You know. Use within the first seven, and and. We've been going ever since then. It, it, yeah. It, it's just, it's been great. It, That's it's good. Great. And then she does the other, she use, use take turns then. So it gives you the break then. Like it'll be on her, is it on her channel one week? And yeah. here's the next, sir. Yeah. yeah. We, we do it every other week. I had to convince her to do that a year, a year ago because she didn't want to do it. And uh, I was like, well, she, you know, she was trying to monetize her channel. I was like, well, the best way to monetize it to get the hours is to run the show. Right. On your on your and so she finally figured it out and and you know we've been doing back and forth ever since then. Yeah, that's good. Um, I love Regina. I do. Yeah. She's, She's such a wholesome, wholesome spirited person. I know, and her voice is like it. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Like with yeah. her singing. Mm -hmm. Like she should make a channel just doing like doesn't she does she play the piano or anything? Yeah, so uh, a little a little note. Regina was on YouTube as and she had a music channel. She did, did she like, really? Yeah. But she stopped because she would get flagged all the time, right? YouTube and their music and their uh copyrights and all yeah that. but it was her music or was she I guess she was singing somebody else's then, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, so she stopped it. She said she got tired of getting copyrighted. So she yeah, stopped. yeah, because they'll take your channel down, or you know, you get those cop. I got one like a, a long time ago for something or another. I don't know. And then you have to figure things out, you know, when you're new. How, what? Yeah, it yeah, is a hassle. It's, it's definitely a hassle. It, it's gotten yeah. a lot easier now figuring out what what music you can actually use now, but. But where yeah. before it was just everything you put up, it was like flag, flag, flag. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I know. Uh, let's see. Let me see what I have here. So, what was your most, what was your most profitable item that you ever sold? My most profitable single item that I ever sold was, what was it? Because I think that that's, that just changed recently. Yeah, that just changed recently. I, maybe three months ago, I sold a comic book. It was a graded comic book and I got it on the online auction. It was, really? Yeah, it was with a bunch of other comic books and it was a, an estate sale auction. Yeah. And I so didn't do you know. know about do you know about comic books? Absolutely not. Yeah, like I don't at all. <laughs> no, no, I just knew they were graded and the yeah. lot, the lot was such a great deal that I bought them anyway. And I knew graded comics, I could at least get something back from them, you know. 
Yeah. Uh, just for the simple grading, I didn't know that this was a it was a Superman comic. It was an old Superman comic, and it was a number one. Wow. Of of something, you know. And I when I looked it up, I could not believe my eyes. I was like, yo, this is I had to look a few times. Yeah. The great thing about it, it was graded. So I already knew it was certified. So when I looked it up, <laughs> I looked up and got it and listed it. I sold it for eighteen hundred dollars. Wow. And I, I had once everything broke down in the lot that I got, I, I spent about three dollars on it. Yeah, that was my biggest. When did you do that? When did you? That's like three months ago. Wow. Did you do a video on them? No. Are no. you? Yeah, you don't do that no more. No, I stopped, I stopped the reselling videos because it just became not fun for me. Yeah, I get bored sometimes. I'm thinking, oh, like, this is bored. Like, you know, but I just keep doing them. You know what I mean? God knows when I'll get there. I don't I don't care. I'll get there when I get there. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it's for me. I look at, you know, I look at reselling videos now for information, which I've always, right. I always have. And I always support the people that, that I support. But for me, myself, I, I got bored making them. That's what that's that's my thing. It's like, yeah, you know. And you know, people are always going to find good use from your videos, uh, no matter what you if you get 20 views or uh, a million, you know, someone's finding good information in your video. Yeah, we will watch. Yeah, so you never know, but every but there's so many people with different interests, you know, you never you never know who's going to be watching your video, you know, so it's right. like, right. I post a lot of stuff on Instagram now. I think that that's more so my. Yeah, I, yeah. Um. Okay, so you said so it was the comic book saying you said that the comic book that you sold. Yeah, the, that's the highest single item uh, yeah. that I bought, but the largest lot because I bought a lot. So I bought a lot of these knives, just random. It was a good good brand knives. They were two different sizes. I got a 10 inch and an eight inch. They're butter, they're uh, bread knives, but they're really good brand. I got, yeah. I want to say I got like 800 of them for about $25. So I've been selling the set. I've been selling one eight, one ten together for $22 and one cent for. And you have one eight, you have a bunch of like, what did you say? 800 yeah. or something. Yeah. So I've been selling the set and I sell about eight a week. So wow. that single purchase has been my biggest profit margin out of everything that I've ever bought. You would never wow. think that knives. So like if I think about the totality of it, the total of sales that I've had off of that, it by far blows away anything I've ever bought. Yeah. What is the brand, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, here I got it right Oh, there. you don't yeah. It is Dexter. Oh, I never heard of them. Yeah, Dexter. They're nice. Uh, a lot of chefs use these knives, apparently. I didn't know. I just, I couldn't pass up the deal. Oh, no. And uh, I sell, this one knife by itself, you can sell it all day for like 15 bucks. I wow. sell two of them. The smaller one and big one for, for 22. So they're getting a deal. Yeah, I've been, I sell, I'm not lying. I sell between... Between four to eight a week. Yeah, I believe you. How can they pass up that deal? Like you yeah. know, what I, you know what I'm saying. Wow. So, what does your routine look like um, with reselling? Since you're reselling and working, how, how, how? What is your routine of your re specifically like with your reselling? reselling? So I, there's a to be honest, I do a lot of sourcing online. There's only two days that I go out and source and per. I don't do garage sales and none of that stuff anymore. Uh, I go out on Tuesday until you see them in the summer, but go ahead <laughs> until I see them in the summer. Right. I go, no, but we have them all year here, which is a great thing. Oh yeah. We all year there's, there's garage sales every week. Wow. But on Tuesdays I go out and I do my sourcing. I pick up a lot of my winnings from auctions. And then on Friday I go out and I do my, my sourcing. And then I list, I list all week randomly. I don't have a certain number I want to hit. And nothing yeah. like that. I list as I as I feel. Uh, and my goal is to list everything that I picked up throughout the week by my next sourcing day. You know That's I mean? a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I try to have everything listed by Tuesday of the following week so I can kind of start over. So when do you do your shipping then? How do you like, are you doing that every day or do you? Yeah. 
I do my yeah. shipping every single day. I have I change my shipping and handling to two days. Yeah. So I normally ship within a day. So if someone buys something today, I'm shipping it out tomorrow. I That's how that I am. Right. Yeah, I, I want it done. Just just get it done and out of here. So I normally ship every evening. I start I do my packing about six or seven o'clock in the evening. So do I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then I get it done and, and that's it. Yeah, I had it. I had I, I sold that teddy bear, whatever I posted on Instagram. I sold that. I think it was last night. I'm thinking, oh, do I want to get out? It was after the after your show is like 1130. Yeah. It sold. I had to go in my my kids, my my son and his girlfriend are in the room sleeping. The other room when I had to go in that middle room, I thought I'm thinking I'm getting that because I'm not dick. I'm not I'm not looking for that tomorrow. You know, <laughs> so I got yeah. it up, got got it ready and it went out this morning. Yeah, I don't mess around with that. I just like to get it. You know, That's how you do it, and you don't want to. This, especially, I, a one note, one one tip that I would give people is if you sell something for a lot of money, ship it that same day. Pack yeah. it, and ship it, damn near as soon as you get it. Why? A, it prevents them from having buyer's remorse because you don't. You don't I know, want to right? Mix I, do, I print that ship and label as soon as, as soon as I get the. If I get a big sale, my that ship and label is printed. <laughs> it is going out. Right after I heard to cha ching, I'm going to drop that off. <laughs> that's that. That's I know. That's what I do. I make sure I print that freaking that label. You know You're what I mean? And then it, it, yeah, <laughs> if it's that day, it goes to the post office. If it's not, if not, it's the next day because it's yep. still that label's printed. Yeah, don't allow yeah. people to get buyers from work. You all know we all have done it. It's not it, saying that they don't want it. It's just they like, oh man, did I really need to spend that at that point? You know, if you you go in and print that label, it's a wrap. They they're getting it. Yeah. <laughs> A couple of years ago, I won't, it was like last year. I think somebody bought, I don't know what it was, a CD, something electronic for like like $77. And the next thing you know, printed out the label. Like Then they ended up uh, sending me a message, oh, blah, blah, whatever it was. And I'm thinking, uh, I ended up selling it though. I, I, I ended up selling it for more. I thought, I'm listening to this for more. And I mm -hmm. did. I ended up selling it like a, uh, actually a couple of days later. That's generally so, how it happens too, though. It worked out, you yeah. know? It normally does. Yeah. Your, um, your business with your son. Yes. Okay. Tell us a little, a little bit about that. How did you get into that? Like, I never seen, I never, <laughs> I never would have even thought of a business like that. But now this morning I was thinking, didn't you do something where you painted something yeah. on, on a sidewalk? Yeah. 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 I thought you did. Yeah. But then you clean them up too, right? Or, or you, not that, but. You do pressure washing. Yeah, it kind of it's kind of expansion on on uh, the curve painting. It was a natural progression. Okay. Yeah, so we we started to so my son. How the story goes, my son wanted a video game system. Uh, I refused to pay for it because I felt like it was unnecessary. He already had one. Yeah. He wanted a newer one. I was like, well, you got to work for it. I'll have you understand that you know it's not easy out here trying to get money to pay for these game systems so yeah. we're gonna we're gonna find something for you to do to make this money so i racked my brain and i uh, i found a little pocket on youtube about curve painting now the thing was had nobody made a video in like two years like wasn't nobody doing it anymore but those videos, <laughs> you were on it then yeah <laughs> those videos are still getting views i was like okay that's a great idea so i looked at it, it was a low cost of entry we didn't have to learn much. We practiced in the backyard. I even videoed us practicing in the backyard. And hell, we went out there and did it. We hit our neighborhood first and, and we kind of just grew up from there. So now did got, you go door to door knocking? We did. We we did. That's we, the way to do it. That's how we started. We started out going door to door. Uh every weekend we would go out for three hours and wow. uh, go knocking and 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 that's how we got our, our sales, man. Uh it, it's and it's if we still want to go door knock, we can do that. Oh I, yeah, I don't have the time to go door knocking now. Yeah. Honestly. How old is your son? My son is thirteen. Yeah. Now does he um does he does him? You have a daughter too, right? Yes. Yeah, I thought I'd seen them in the one in the one video you did a long time ago. But um, do they do they have any interest like in reselling or anything? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't. So, what about your wife? Does she like not does she, but does she do you does she like to hear your stories about what you sold or does she have any kind of interest or does she thrift or anything? I think she tolerates it, but I don't think she likes it. <laughs> I don't think you she don't. likes it. No. So it's 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 a, it's my thing. It's yeah. A, it's not a, 
just like most, it's not exciting to other people like it is to us. I know. Like, I love it. Like, my husband, like, he'll go with me. He likes going to all the places with me and stuff. But he has, he's like, he don't even go on. He don't even know how to use it. Like, he don't go on the internet. Like, he's not that kind of person. Yeah. You know, but he, he'll he go and I'll be at the racks and he'll just stand at the rack like this. And he'll stand there for wherever, <laughs> you know. Now, he'll pick up stuff that I'm like, put that back. I'm not doing that or getting that. Like, you know, stuff like that. But... <laughs> Anyway, Derek, I'm yeah. gonna leave you go so you can get on your day. But thank you so so much. And um, do you have any anything else you want to say to anybody thinking about getting into reselling or anything else? No, just reselling and and YouTube or whatever platform you're listening to this on is is my my thing is just stay to your true self, man. It's no matter what you do, make sure you enjoy it. If you have to pause and switch it up and change it, that's okay. Yeah. Just make sure you're enjoying it. Make sure it doesn't become a burden on you uh, to where you feel like you're obligated to do something. It's a lot of work, you know, and it's so much more than what I thought. Yeah, it, it, it is. And I'm glad you, videos. Oh my gosh. I'm glad you started. You know, Patty, Patty is, is someone who did that, right? Yeah. Patty, I remember, I remember us having you on the show. You didn't even want to mention the other stuff that you do because yeah. you, I don't know if you felt that people. Yeah, I, I, not, I don't feel, I, it's just, I get, I'm, I, I, I get busy with, you know, with the reselling and I, like, you know, if you get sales and stuff, it's like, Oh my God, how am I going to put my mind in that mindset? Yeah. When I'm trying to get my, cause you know, eBay, you, if you don't get your, if you don't get your items out on time or you lose something that you can't find and you're looking for it, they'll, they'll put a ding on your account. You know how yeah. eBay, you get banned. They don't, they, they don't, they don't care, you know? They don't. And, and the great thing is once you build a solid core with eBay, and I think you know this as well, yeah. it doesn't work. It doesn't work like this with Amazon. Though. Amazon don't care how many items you sold, you mess up, they're going to suspend you. Yeah. Once you get a solid grasp on eBay and everything, oh my goodness gracious. <sighs> Give me one second. That's fine. Hello, it's Derek. Hey, I'm good, German. Uh, yeah, give me, give me one second, German. All right. Come on, say. All right, Patty, I gotta go. That's fine. Hey, <laughs> thank you so much, Derek, for being on. And again, subscribe to his channels. I'll put the links in this description, and I'll let you know when I get this up. I appreciate you, Patty. All right, thanks. Take care. All right, you too. All right, bye. Thanks.